So my overall impression was that this trial, like other SGLT2 inhibitor trials, again proved that there is substantial benefit in terms of reduction of heart failure hospitalization risk. As you know, there was a split uh, a primary endpoint of this trial. The MACE endpoint did not reach statistical significance, but the combined endpoint of cardiovascular death and heart failure hospitalization did reach uh, the endpoint, which was positive. I think it's adding in several ways. So one issue obviously is that it further reinforces the issue of safety. In this trial, at least, we did not see any differences in the risk of amputation. Uh, so that was uh, answered. That was a big question that was in people's mind. The second question that was in people's mind was that this trial had the largest cohort of patients with risk factors but without atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease of all the SGLT2 inhibitor trials. So the question was, was there any benefit in the primary prevention versus the secondary prevention cohort? Uh, and then the third is just the overall body of literature uh, regarding SGLT2 inhibitors and management of diabetes. So for these reasons, uh, this is sort of the, the, you know, fulfills the picture and that's another uh, uh, plug that you can put in in the vast amount of literature we have. So the limitations of the trial are that again, so this is a randomized controlled trial that included patients either with cardiovascular risk factors or with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, but a big proportion of patients with diabetes out there, uh, shorter duration of diabetes, actually have no cardiovascular risk factors and they were not included in any of the clinical trials uh, per se. So that is sort of one thing uh, that we have to be careful about. Uh, but other than that, uh, all of these trials, what we are learning from SGLT2 inhibitors, uh, is that the primary endpoint of MACE, which was primarily uh, uh, defined on the basis of the FDA guidance, uh, the benefit is restricted to those with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease at baseline, and there's a modest benefit. But there's a bigger benefit for heart failure hospitalization and renal benefit that we are seeing in these trials uh, that goes across both the primary prevention and the secondary prevention cohort, which really makes you think whether the definition for primary prevention and secondary prevention, the way we define it for atherosclerotic disease, is really applicable for heart failure or chronic kidney disease. I mean, the biggest take-home message for the clinician is sort of uh, stay tuned. We have now three drugs that is showing significant impact of this therapy in reduction in heart failure risk, which is one of the commonest uh, complications of patients with diabetes. So as things work through the regulatory agencies and the guidelines, uh, I would not be surprised that in the future, irrespective of the benefit on MACE, just for heart failure prevention, uh, we probably will be using a lot more of these agents in patients with diabetes at higher risk.